Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the investment opportunity that is Commander's Anthology, and I'm going to use it as a basis for why this type of investment is no longer viable, in my opinion, of course. So, if you bought the first Commander's Anthology, and the reason I'm making this video on the first one is because we have over a year, or almost a year, the release date was June 9th. I think the release date on Anthologies 2 is June 18th, so pretty much a year apart to see what happened to its price. The MSRP was $164.99. All the local game stores around my area and most of the websites sold it for $164.99. If you had purchased it and kept it totally sealed, you're looking at about $180. So increase a price of $15, but that's not very good because free shipping, right? And you had to ship this randomly sized box. So in fact, no one at MSRP made money from this product. It's not like you could have bought it, held it for a year, it went up, and the product itself is very good quality. It's got Kalia, it has, it has a lot of great cards that we haven't seen for some time. And these individual cards all have, you know, have good price points and the decks themselves are very good. Now, when you talk about Commander's Anthology 2, the first one had Kalia. This one has something that's, it has two of them. The Vow for Power, which by itself is almost equivalent to the 164.99. And it is an old deck. It is a good deck, in my opinion. It has some cards that will always be valuable, no matter Grave Pack, Eternal Witness. These cards have really just uh, increased Oblivion Stone. Since this deck has been printed, a lot of the random things that were not valuable at the time are now valuable to the point that it is $160 on its own. Now, does that mean you're going to get $160 for your version of it? And no, that is not going to happen. Again, if you want to play with these decks, this is a tremendous value. Both the anthologies are tremendous values. Even at 180 right now, it's a very good value. But if you want to speculate on this, the anthologies number one flopped. Now, I know it's only been a year, but it flopped. Commander Anthology number two, lots of vari variances like uh, how large would a print run be, the card quality is a big one, but built from scratch, I like the spread more. When I open a random booster box, I want most of the expected value to be in the rares and the uncommons, and if there's like a dollar common, that's, that's gravy, right? That's amazing. But for the decks that I know what's going to be in them, you want one or two cards in that pre-con deck to be equivalent to the whole pre-con deck, like mine sees, because that's what's going to sell. So here we have a different model than Commander Anthology 1. We have two crappy decks and two very good decks. So when you talk about, you know, the bad decks, um, this is one of them. This has got to be one of the worst decks. I know that they did it to balance it, but from the standpoint of can this product get above MSRP, it has a better shot than Commander Anthologies 1 because of the distribution. Where is the value? The value is in a $200 Atraxa deck and a $160 Devalve for Power deck. And this one is weighed into battle. I don't want to say it's a bad deck, but it's definitely not 100 plus, 150 plus, 200 plus. It is a solid deck. It's exactly what you would want to have in a product like this. But this product is unique because the overall value of all these decks is 520 some dollars. So 160 divided by 520, what is that? more than a free times multiplier for the sealed product and the singles look very good too because 
when you break it down, I don't think you can lose money on this product holding it. Now, I'm not saying go out and buy 10 of these, 20 of these, and hope for, uh, and save it as like a mutual fund. But the overall 400 cards, a lot of those cards are unique and they can spike at any time. So it's got, it's got a better mixture of value. It's got a better spread of value uh, in terms of what you want to see. If you were to hold it and unopen and don't open it, and here, here's the big baddie, the Atraxa deck. This deck is a $200, $250, $250 deck. I understand why. Uh, it is out of the box, one of the best decks, and it is extremely fun and unique. And the commander Atraxa herself is just four colors is always more fun to play with five colors is best in my opinion but the mana gets a little iffy here you have something that i mean you look at the cards even like hardened scales which is kind of a met card it's okay uh, the lowest is 224.99 but you see them at 250 sell all the time it's only 2016 so you have the Vow for Power, which makes sense because it's one of the first commander decks, I think 2013, 2012. The old decks will always be more valuable because they're old and they were the first to come. Now, Atraxa being this product makes me think this product is going to be worth buying just for that Atraxa deck. When you have a single card worth more than an entire product, that's good. In this example, you have a single commander deck worth more than the entire product. This is going to be a great product. Um, and I think it's because Atraxa's deck, now if Atraxa was really old, and then you could say, oh, well, you know, it's just because it's old and there's not that many of them. No, I, I just think it's the Atraxa deck. It's like a bonus on top of Anthologies 1, which is just insane. This would be the one to get. If you're saving your pennies, you're saving your nickels and dimes, you're, you need to get trade stuff. It, I don't know the next time we see a, a way to get a track. So maybe in a judge promo, which will also be expensive, but then you don't get the 99. The 99 fit it very well. One of the most fun decks, and I do have a track, so I had to buy her from online for like $90 or $80 at the time and I was like okay but I really want this deck this is a great product uh, I think it is not wise to buy 20 of any sealed magic products today no matter who tells you to do that but if I wanted to have you know a really fun commander deck or multiple commander decks and have a really nice collection of them and if I had any inkling to play Atraxa at all, and I don't already have her, this is the best way to get her. And if she's not reprinted or available for some time after this, which might be true because she just got reprinted, you are looking at a very sky-high price. And I like the fact that you might be in the future able to sell the Atraxa deck by itself for the price you paid for it, and you get to keep all the other free decks. That's the business model that all the MTG finance people who are successful do. You know, they buy some stuff, they sell it enough to break even, and they keep what they want to keep. Here, you're keeping the other free decks, one of them being Devout for Power, which is itself not bad. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below if you agree or disagree. Bye, guys.